All right, peeps, I've teased you for a few days now, and I promised this would be big, so please welcome to the Paranormal Quest podcast, filmmaker, producer, musician, father, television personality, co-creator of Vidi Space, Mr. Nick Groff. What is up, brother? Thank you for having me. Always a blast to talk to you. Yeah, just grinding away. Every day is a new day. Every second matters to me as life ticks forward. So I'm just, I'm just excited, man. I'm excited for what's to come. You know, I've been on this um, kind of underground, <laughs> uplifting, life changing moments of trying new things, and I, I'm really excited for what's to come. Dude, I'm excited for you, honestly, because <laughs> it's like. I kind of have an idea of what you're cooking on, but man, like I, I know I have no idea ultimately, but <laughs> damn it. Like I am super stoked for you and everything, but no, like, thank you so much for, you know, taking the time and hanging out with us tonight, man. It's a, it's a fucking honor, honestly. Awesome. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, man. Anytime, anytime for you. Cool. Uh, love your location. You know, Melbourne Manor is amazing. Slept there for three days. Right. <laughs> that right. was brutal. That was brutal. I, I regret sleeping on that metal bed, though. I was, Dude. like, sliding off the metal bed, and it was so painful. I was like, why was this a good idea when I sat in a sleeping what? bag? It's pretty stupid. It's so like, usually people do. put mattresses on a on a spring bed, you know? It is what it is, though, right? Like, honestly, yeah. though, bro, like, the mattress that we have there, I don't know if I would trust it. Like, I don't know if I would want to lay on that, you know? It's like I yeah. realize you put yourself in some pretty sketchy situations, but damn. Like, yeah, it's what we do, man, to push <laughs> beyond, you know, mentally and physically to try to find uh, new discoveries, you know, in yeah. the paranormal. Needle in the haystack, so we're always kind of just like looking for it. And I think, you know, it's instances like that when you put yourself in situations that you can kind of, you can find what you're looking for, but you never know. It's day or night. It's all the time. It's just when is the next thing going to happen and when is the right time? Sure. I think that's what it's all about just in life, you know? Yeah, absolutely, freaking lutely bro. So, I mean, let's kind of start off easy here. And I, I, I didn't want to, I kind of wanted to shy away from, you know, the stereotypical what got you into like the paranormal and all this <laughs> yeah. stuff, right? Because that's always the first yeah. question. But like, when was it that you became a believer you know, in spirits, ghosts, the afterlife, all of this stuff. Like, do you remember that moment? Yeah, it, it was more not like a believer. I think I'm still pursuing so many different questions I have rather than just saying I'm a believer. Sure. I think I think words are so defined in the human nature of what we want to understand so we can comprehend it. But like words are made up from people, right? Yeah. But I think going back to my childhood, the way I can describe it um, and break it down is I, I was born into this world just fascinated by all things that were mysterious and things that were unexplainable or venturous or something that always kind of drove me to look it out or search for it on this weird quest I've been guided on in my life. And I really believe something has put me into this position to kind of go through those stepping stones of life to experience these things that I never understood. Yes. And everything is a new chapter. It's, it's just like anybody's life, right? We're all in this journey. We're all interconnected in this energetic web that we kind of flow through in this universe, but eventually we all figure it out, out as we grow older. So when I was young, I was just so fascinated in UFOs and aliens and the universe and space and time and and just stuff like that. And I, I used to listen to Art Bell on my little boombox and have Hell my yes. little flip out, flip out map. And I I try to pinpoint where Area 51 was so I could go to it one day. Nice, you know, crazy, crazy stuff like that. So. And then I would go with like when I got a little bit older in high school, I would um, go with my friends to some like haunted locations, you know, that we heard of urban legends around town or whatever in New England and kind of go up to it and everyone get all scared because they hear like a little creaky noise or something <laughs> stupid like that. And they all run with crowbars and I would just stand there looking in the windows, trying to search it out. So Damn. that's kind of how it started for me, man. It was just um, super driven and passionate for understanding what else is there beyond just what we comprehend as human beings? And there has to be more to life beyond what we know 